convert a binary decision tree to BDD or RBDD or RVBDD. So to do this, we have three steps. So in the first step, if this is your binary decision tree, the, the, these are set to be the leaf nodes. Leaf nodes will, will have the value either 0 or 1. Okay, so what we have to do instead of having these many leaf nodes, we can have only two leaf nodes, one for zero and one for one. So wherever connection has to go for zero, you can connect. So uh, from this B intermediate node, wherever the connection has to go to zero, we can connect it to zero. Wherever the connection has to go to one, we can connect it to one. And you all know here in these lines, this dashed line is, is to represent which value? Dashed line is used to represent the value 0 and the solid line is used to represent the value 1. So this is your binary decision tree. The first step in the binary decision tree is remove all the leaf nodes and have only two leaf nodes, one for 0 and one for 1. Accordingly, modify the last stage of connections. So this is how your circuit will look like after, doing, after following the rule number 1. Next, we'll move on to rule number two. Here, this is the one we got after following the rule number one. Now, we have to see, look at the intermediate nodes. If any pattern is similar, if any pattern is same, we can draw that only once. If we see, in last class, we, we have found that if you look at the D, one, three, five, have the similar values when it is 0 or when it is 1. If you look at 1, 3 and 5D, 1, if you look at the 1, when it is 0, it is going to 0. When it is 1, also it is going to 0. If you look at this D, 0 or 1, it is going to 0. Similarly, 5, 0 or 1, it is going to 0. That is how we say this D, this D and this D are same. Now, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6. Look, if you look at 2, when it is 0, it is going to 0. When it is 1, 1. Let me look at 4. This is fourth one. 0, 0, 1, 1. Same pattern as this second D. Second D and fourth D have the same pattern. Let me look at the sixth one. This is the sixth one. When it is 0, going to 0. When it is 1, 1. And 7 and 8, when it is 0 or 1, it 1. 0 or 1, 1. So if you, when I look at this eight Ds, one, three, five have the similar pattern, two, four, six have the similar pattern and seven and eight have the similar pattern. So what I can do, I can remove this eight and have only three, one for this pattern, one for this pattern and one for this pattern. Is it clear students? Are you able to understand what I am telling? We can remove all the eight and we have only three. One pattern is uh, D, both are going to 0. Another pattern is D, both are going to 1. And another pattern is D, 0 means 0, 1 means 1. So only three sets of D. I need not have all the eight Ds. And accordingly, look at the C. When it is 0, where it has to go to which pattern connected? When it is 1, to which pattern it has to go connected? We have totally, instead of 8, now we have only three unique patterns. So depending upon to which pattern it has to go, give the connections. Next, look at C now. Now, let us look at C. After drawing that diagram, step by step in the in exam or in a paper, you have to draw step by step. All the drawings should be there. Remember, exam mainly. If I'm asking any question like this, first you have to remove D, you have to draw the diagram. And from that, you have to tell, you have to draw another diagram where you are removing all the C. So now if you look at the C, this C you can see it is going to pattern 1. Let me consider this, this as pattern 1, this as pattern 2, this as pattern 3. Okay. Now C when it is 0 going to pattern 1, 1 it is going to pattern 2. This C when it is 0 going to pattern 1, 1 pattern 0. So can I say this C and this C are same now? When it is 0, going to pattern 1. When it is 1, going to pattern 2. When it is 0, going to pattern 1. When it is 1, going to pattern 2. 
whether this C and this C have the same pattern. Yes. Can I have only one C? I need not have two, right? Yeah. I will, I will totally, I can remove this part. I can totally remove this C. So only one C from this B, zero or one, both will come to the C and B. So I've removed this C. How about this C? Is it also similar to this one? First two. Let me see. When it is zero, it is going to pattern one. When it is one, it is going to pattern two. Yeah, the C is also same. In that case, I can remove all these three and I can have only C here. And coming to this C, already we had only one D here. So this is totally different. So this has to be retained. So among this four, finally I have only two Cs. All these three will be merged into one and this one. So how the circuit will be? It will be like this. Did I say three Ds? This is pattern one, zero or one going to zero. This is pattern two, zero means zero, one means one. This is pattern 3, 0 or 1 going to 1. Out of 4, out of this 4, I told only 1, 2 Cs. For all these 3 cases, only 1 C you see. B, 0 or 1, it is going to only C. B, 0 or 1, it is going to C. And this B, 0 means going to this common C. 0 means it's going to common C. 1 means it is going to C. This is some unique pattern. So this is how you will get after you perform the rule number two. After you perform the rule number two. Any doubt here? If the patterns are same, we have to draw that only once. Accord accordingly, you need to modify the connections. Is it clear, students? Shall I explain the rule two? Ma'am, can you explain this D part again? Which one? This one. Yes, ma'am. How are we reducing the number of Cs? Looking at the pattern, see here, first D, third D, and fourth D have the same pattern. Instead of drawing it thrice, I can draw it only once. So only once I have drawn. Similarly, second, fourth, and sixth have the same pattern. I need not draw thrice. I have drawn only once. 7th and 8th D have the same pattern. So instead of drawing twice, I've drawn only once. And above it, when I look at the C, these three C have the same pattern with respect to D and its leaf node. When you look at the C, you have to see the complete pattern till the end. Then in that case, this, these three C are same. So I can draw only once. See, this C, this is 0 of B, this is 1 of B. See, 0 of B, 1 of B going to the same C. And this 0 of this B is also coming here only because I have merged these 3 into 1. Only once I have drawn here. Like that. You have to look at the pattern. If the way of drawing or the connections are same, then you have to draw only once. But you have to go from lower to higher. First, you re uh, remove the intermediate level of D. First, you have to do this, this connection alone. Next, on top of it, you have to see the C. Next, you have to see the B. Here, B, there is no resemblance, so we didn't look into it. But you should not look at the root node. Below that, all the intermediate node from the lower level to higher level, you have to look into and you have to remove it. Clear? Now, moving on to the third role. Anybody? Anybody said anything? Okay. Now moving on to the third rule. First rule is removing the unnecessary unwanted leaf node. Second rule is removing the unnecessary intermediate node. Third one is removing the redundant nodes. When a node is said to be redundant node. Understand carefully when a node is said to be a redundant node. Okay. When it is said to be redundant node is if that particular node have an have one input and two output lines going to the same node. Again, I'll repeat. One particular node is said to be a redundant node when it is having only one input and both the output lines are going to the same node. Can anyone tell me is there is any such node in this diagram? 
the same thing may be go, let me look into up ah. in this diagram the diagram one which one d d from d 1 you are to 1 from d b any other note students anybody else d i can see we have only see one input c to d one input and both the outputs are going to the same it can be a leaf node or intermediate node anything students okay d is of that category anything else how come c c if i see have here two inputs and here one input i said only one input d is falling that category d has only one input and both the output lines are going to the same node no ma'am here ma'am uh, c and d c to d ma'am here Dotted yeah. and this C, I can say, yeah, only one input line and two output lines. Anything else? This B. These are the arrows are all of that category. Okay. So what we can, if you look at this diagram, this B is a written and do not. this d as per the concept i told you one input and both the outputs are going to the same node so b is a written and this b this b is a written and node this d is a written and node and this c is a written and node so these written and nodes can be totally removed so what i can do now is i can totally remove this i can totally remove this and i can directly draw the connection like this i can directly draw the connection like this i can dot draw a dotted line i can totally remove this connection because this is from a dotted line no so that you directly connect to c similarly here i can totally remove this part and i can draw on a dotted line from the c to this i can draw similarly from here this is the solid line so from d i'll i can remove this written and note and do now after drawing this and consider that this is not there this is not there and this is not there is there is still more any and any other written and note now you have to recheck it not only once after uh, rearranging after drawing is there is any more written and note now assume this is not there this is not there this is not there and this is not there only this part of a connection is there in this any written and node is there how about this d is it a written and node look at this only one input and both output lines are going here can i call this as a written and node can we consider this as a written and node yes because one input line and both output lines are going so this also i can remove so now i what i can do directly i can draw here completely i can remove this part this part and this part so this will be my see these in the first step i will get this one this one and this one as a written and note again when i redraw second step only i will get this also as a written and note so this will be my final diagram so you see this how big this binary decision tree now finally bdd or robdd or rbdd is such a small diagram so this is how we will remove we will reduce want you to for everybody i'll give the question i want you to do this what is the expression i told for this one what is the expression i gave for this one a b plus c d we did that huh? okay now you do it for everyone have to now do solve this just a minute i'll give you the expression a plus b into c F is equal to a plus b into 
into C. First, everyone draw the binary decision diagram. I want everybody to draw the binary decision diagram now for this. So here there are three variables A, B, C. So root node will start with A because I will be, always go with an order. If the variables are A, B, C, start with A. If the variables are start with X. The variables are X1, X2, X3, start with the X1, the generic rule. Okay. So now in this case, your root node will be, I'm asking everybody to draw randomly. I will connect and I will ask you now. Remember. Zero line, one line. Please students draw, otherwise you may not be able to solve it in the exam. You know it's a paper, pen and paper based test. I'm drawing here. A, B and the last one will be C. The three variable A, B, C, three inputs. How many leaf nodes will be there? Hi Krishna, how many leaf nodes will be there? Hi Krishna. Hi Krishna. Ma'am, yes ma'am, yes ma'am, brilliant ma'am. How many, how many leaf nodes will be there? Yeah, F is equal to A plus B into C. Eight. Eight ma'am. Okay, okay, Sai Krishna. Thank you, ma'am. Anusha, are you listening, Anusha? Yes, Anusha, yes, Anusha can you tell me the variables here which what I need to enter in the leaf node? I'm still drawing. Be ready. You need to give me the answer. Okay, ma'am. Fast, write the truth table. Only then we can fill this. Sai Praniti, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Are you solving the problem? Yes, ma'am. Sapras? Mohammed? Mohammed Sapras, are you there? No. Sumant? Yes, ma'am. Are you there, Sumant? Yes, ma'am. Okay, listening to the class. Yes, no, listening now. Okay, listening now. I have asked you to solve this problem. You have to draw it now. Rosni, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Are you solving this, Rosni? Yes, ma'am. I'm trying. Trying? No, you should be able to do. I'm doing a simple work now. This is very simple. You can do it. You have to do it now. Okay, ma'am. Samita Reddy. Are you there, Samita Reddy? Mm -hmm. Thousand times I've called Samita. Not even a single time she has responded to my class. I think I need to look, look at you only during project presentations. I think I'm there in the panel. Correct, Samita? Only in the panel I can talk to you. Akas Reddy. Yes, ma'am. Are you solving the problem, Akka? Satish, Gautam Subhas, where are you, Gautam Subhas? Are you there? Yes, ma'am. Satish, are you there? Satish, ready? Anusha, are you ready with answer, Anusha? Tell me now. 
Yes, I'm ready uh, with the diagram. First one, what I have to write here? Enter here. Uh, zero itself, ma'am. Okay. Second one. Zero itself. Ah. Uh, third. Uh, zero and then one. Okay. Then. Uh, zero one. I mean, oh, wait, ma'am. Uh, this is to one, so it'll be one and zero. One, zero, and the last two. Um, um, it's covered, ma'am, because of the thing. I cannot see it. Yeah, uh, zero and last one is one. Now you see, is it right? What I've entered. The last one, yeah, yes, ma'am, it's right, ma'am. Okay, other students, is it right? Kirti, are you? Is it right? B six and Kirti. Ma'am, uh, I got 00, 001, 001, 001. 00, 01. 00, 01. Correct, no? Ma'am, it's the last three are all uh, 01. 00, then 01. Anusha, check it out. Ma'am, 00, 01, and once again 01 should come, ma'am. You have written 10. Because okay. if C is zero, it becomes zero, ma'am. So. Okay, okay. Then Gautam, next to two. Uh, the, those two are zero one. That is correct, ma'am. This one only you have to change. Uh, that you make it so, to one, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Now we are able to draw this diagram, right? Everybody have drawn in your notebook, right? Virendra Sai, have you drawn this in your notebook? Ma'am. Have you drawn this in your notebook? Ma'am, Pranit, ma'am. Pranit, I'm not, I asked Virendra Sai. Pranit, have you done? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. But that uh, dotted line and straight line you have to interchange, ma'am. Ma'am, the dotted yeah, line yeah, and straight yeah, line correct, are correct, correct, correct. Good, good. Mm, yeah, yeah. I made a mistake. Now it's fine, huh? Now, yes, oh, is it correct? Ah, yes, okay. ma'am. Yeah. So this, what is this diagram called, you know? What is this diagram known as? Binary decision tree. Here, this diagram for the given expression, just run for A, B, C means A once, B twice, C four, like two, four, eight, 16, 32, like that it will go on. So one, two, four, eight, like that it will go on. So this is only three variable. So as per the three variable, this directly when you draw the diagram, this is binary decision tree. Now, can we use the three rules and convert this to a binary decision diagram? Can we do that, students? So, first step, remove the unwanted leaf nodes. So, I removed, yeah, you people have to tell me now. <laughs> Without thinking, I just, okay. I'll keep only two. You have to tell me. I forgot. Okay. Now, first one, this uh, one line where it has to go, zero or one? Zero, zero one. right? Zero. And this uh, this one, solid line of this C? Zero. That also zero. zero. That also zero. And this one? The C solid uh, dash line is zero. Zero. The solid line one. One ma'am. One. And the solid zero one ma'am. No, this uh, tell me one by one yeah. Zero. This, uh, zero. 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 zero ma'am. Zero. zero. And this one. 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 This one. Zero. 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 And this is the one. one. This is the first step. Rule one, R one. Understood? This is rule one. Remove all the thing and have one leaf. Now let me look at the pattern. This C zero or one going to zero. Like that. Is there is any other C here? No. This is unique. That means this C is unique. I cannot do this anything. Coming to this C, when it is zero zero, when it is one one, this C. When it is 0, 0, when it is 1, 1. This C, when it is 0, 0, 1 means 1. So, these three are same. Whether these three are same? Yes, yes ma'am. So, instead of having three times, let me have only one. 
would be removal distance. Yeah, I removal distance. This also to this C, this one also to this C. Okay. Done. Correct. Only all, there were three C's. Now I removed all the three and retained only one. So here in the second rule, R2, uh, we have now checked it to the level of C only. Next we'll move on to B. B, this, when it is zero, it's going to this unique pattern of C. When it is one, it is going to this pattern. This B, no, the, there is no similarity between these B. They are totally different. With this B, when it is zero or one, it is going to this C. But this B, when it is zero, it is going to some unique pattern. And for uh, one, it is going to an another unique pattern. So this B and this B are not the same. Okay. So now second rule also done. Next we need to check for the third rule. Check it out if there is any redundant node present here. Is there is any redundant node present here? B ma'am. Which B left side or right side B? Right side B. And C. Right side B. Yeah, correct. This B is a redundant node because it is having one input and two leaf node. Sorry, two outputs going to the same is a redundant node. So I am I am uh, redrawing on the same thing. You guys have to draw so once again all these things. So I will remove this. So this is part. also there, no ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, one by one we'll do. So this is done. What is the other node now? Redundant. C is also redundant node. Which is C? Left or right? Left, left side, ma'am. Left, left side. Left side. Ah, this is a redundant node. So this also let me remove. Any other redundant node? Nothing. So this will be the final BDD or ROBDD or RBDD. Is it clear students how to do this? Yes? Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Now you have redundant node like, uh, I mean, will you read in the one or zero or does it matter? I didn't understand Gitti. The question. Uh, like uh, B had both zero and one going to the same place, no ma'am. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, if can you just if can you like remove both of them? Like I mean, uh, either one you can remove or either zero you can remove. Mm -hmm. You have to retain that input line, output line. Both we have to remove. Initially, the solid line was going to B. And from B, I had like this. Correct, Kirti? Hmm? Yes, ma'am. One input and two outputs. One input and two outputs going to the same node. So this is said to be redundant node. When I remove it, both the outputs I need to remove. And node also I need to remove. But the input is connected here. Okay, ma'am. Here also, this was the input to the C. Node I removed, two output lines also I removed, and the input I retained. Got it? Others also yes. understood? So now, this is one expression we have done. Already we have completed. F is equal to A. What is the other expression we have done? First problem. AB plus CD. AB plus CD. Homework. Note down the other expressions. Homework is AB plus BC plus AC. This one. And another one, F is equal to A plus C plus D into AB plus BC into BC plus AC. 
these two problem you need to solve we come for the next class tomorrow's class okay student first you need to draw the binary decision diagram and you need to follow rule 1 rule 2 and rule 3 and get the final binary decision first binary decision tree you have to draw and you have to convert this using the three rules to bdd or rbo bdd or rbdd clear mom the last one is a four variable mom ah four variable mom can we do another method mom like from leaf nodes onwards we should, we should merge each other leaf nodes only we did no now Like uh, here, uh, at starting only we have written zero and one. From that we have joined one. Uh, like last time, what we have written is uh, huh. every leaf node we have joined one. If if two. No, no, don't one. confuse with the other thing. This is what you need to follow. Uh, like okay. uh, that one is a bit easy, you know, so you understand. No, no, no. This uh, no, don't want to confuse with that. I want to follow rule one, rule two, rule three. Okay, this way of doing only I want. Okay, can I? Okay. Next Excuse one. Me, yeah. Ma'am, what we are going to achieve by reducing the binary decision tree, ma'am? What is the first order? We will have a front end design and back end design. Uh, front end design output will act as an input to the back end design. Correct. Yes, front end output will act as an input to the back end. Back end output will act as an input for fabrication. Yes. we are transforming the back end front end front end design to the back end design converting a front end design to the back end design that is what exactly we are doing when we do this transformation if anything goes wrong i may give a wrong design to the final fabrication if i do that it's a big loss somewhere i need to check whether this transformation have been done properly or not okay so what i will do is i will take the front end design and i will first draw the binary decision diagram and i will reduce it to binary uh, sorry i first i will draw decision tree and i reduce it to bdd binary decision diagram similarly i will take my back end design i will first draw the binary decision tree and reduce it to binary decision diagram if two such a smaller diagrams are there will it be easier for you to com uh, compare And say they are same or not? Easy. That is the reason. Hmm? Two okay. designs. As you know, that two designs we need to check whether they are right or wrong. So the methods, whatever I now I am discussing, further I will be discussing. All these things are for for that purpose only. Front end design and back end design. I need to check whether they are same or not. for that i will be following these steps so now we have discussed how to convert a binary decision tree to a binary decision diagram using three rules that is one method second method is how to get a reduced bdd or bdd or rbo bdd anything using sanans sanans expansion theorem okay this also people who have taken digital ic design might have done but i don't know how vigni sir or sathi sir has taught you but whatever i am doing now this is what you people have to follow so now if we have an expression like this f is equal to ab s cd if you have an expression like this using sanons expansion method what you have to do is first in this expression in this boolean expression there are three variables a b c d four variables are there a b c d correct now first variable means which will be the first variable a b c d four variables are there first variable means which is the first variable here m a a is the first variable so take the first variable consider a as 0 one thing and the second consider a as 1 Consider a as zero and a as one. So in this expression, if I substitute a as zero, what I will get? F is equal to a b plus c d. 
when i substitute a as 0 this term will become 0 i will get cd when i substitute a as 1 here what i will get b plus cd b plus cd next this you have to consider g of b and this you have to consider any variable i am just taken g H why am to why am to G and H is because this expression this expressions are different. This expression C D is different from B plus C D. So that's why I used two different variable G and H. Why inside the bracket I took B? Reason is first here in the main expression we had four variable A B C D. Order which I need to follow is A, B, C, D. First, I took A and I assigned A as zero, A as one. I got two different expression. The next variable which I have to take in the order is B. That's why I wrote B. Now, what we have to do is we need to take this B, G. Now we need to take this G. In this, substitute B as zero. Thing. Similarly, substitute this b as one and check what is this g of b? G of b is nothing but c d. In the c d, we don't have b only. Whether I substitute b as zero or b as one, I will still get c d. There is no difference. Okay. Now this we got with respect to b. So I have to consider this with an another variable. Let me consider k of what is the third variable c. First variable is a. Second variable is b. Which I, this is I'm talking about what you need to write inside the bracket. Third variable is c. And this and this are same. So for this one also, I can just write the same thing. This c d and this c d are same. So I can write the same thing. Next, you take this H of B. H of B slash zero. What I will get in this H of B? If I substitute B as zero here, I will get C D. Next, the same H B slash one. If I substitute, what I will get? If I substitute B as one, what will be my value? Tell me. One plus C D will be one. One. I will get one. Now this one is uh, some new variable. C D is same as this. You, people do it level by level. You can consider this as level one. Level one, I got G and H. So G and H will be now level two. In G and H, I got C D. Wherever you are getting C D, you need to consider as K of C only. Same variable only you need to assign. So level two is done. In level two, I got only K of C. So in level three, K of C. Here I need to consider again K as zero. If I substitute K C as zero, what I will get? A of C is nothing but C D. In C D, if I say as zero, my output will be zero. Similarly, A C slash one. This will be equal to in the C D. If I substitute C as one, one na D ya. D D D D. Now this is my level three. Level three. This is what the expression I got. So again, assign some new variable here. Yeah, for G H K is done. Maybe L I will take. L of which variable I need to take inside the bracket? A done, B done, C done, D. D. So this is my level three. This is my level three. Now moving on to level four. L 
of B, consider it as 0. What will be the answer? L of D is nothing but D. L of D is nothing but D. When D is 0, 0. Right here. Similarly, B slash 1. Can I substitute this D as 1? 1. So now th th this is my level 4 where my answer is all 0 and 1. I didn't get any new variable here. So I can stop it here. So take the expression. Look at the variables in the expression. Understand there are four different variables. The regular scenarios, if it is A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, this is the order. But take the first variable. Assign that variable with a 0. Assign the same variable with 1. Find out what are the expressions you are getting. If the, both the expressions are same, then you can introduce only new one variable like g alone. You need not have h. But inside the bracket, previously you have taken a. Now you have to definitely take it as b. Now I had two different variables. So g of b, h of b I took. Next, these are the two I got in my first level when I took my first variable. Now b is my second variable. So with respect to b, I got g of b h of b. We need to take g of b and h of b now. Take g of b. Consider b as 0, consider b as 1. So this is my g of b expression. In this, I don't have b at all. So whether I place b as 0 or 1, my final answer will be c d. Next, take the second h of b. Second h of b, b as 0, b as 1. I got c d and 1. Now look at this 4. Previously, these 2. The first level, 2 only we checked. In the second level, this is my second level with respect to my second variable b, I got 4 answers. If you look at my 4 answers, 1 is 1. One answer is 1. Other 3 answers are same. So I can assign only one variable, one unique variable. So I used k. This G, H, K, L, anything you can use, any alphabet you can use here. So I used K. But inside the bracket, first level I used A, second level I used B. So third level value only I have to write inside the bracket. Third level is C. Suppose in case, I have, if I have got answer like this, so I cannot still have a K. Some other variable, mm, what I can write? Yes. Yes, I will write S yes of C. You cannot assign the same variable K. Now, in this case, all are same, so I used K. So, in the second level for of B, I got K of C alone. So, this I take it to the third level. So, K of C, C is 0, what happens? And C is 1, what happens? So, in the third level, I got 0 and B. 1 or 0, you need not assign some variable. Leave it as such. If you get a, further any alphabet only, you have to proceed. Assign it some variable. So now 0 and D. Leave this 0. Take this D. Now some any alphabet. I took L alphabet. But inside the bracket, A is done, B is done, C is done. So D. Order A, B, C, D. Listen students, you have to compulsorily follow this order. L of D. So D, 0, 0 and 1, 1. Stop it here. So, four variable, four levels we got. Level, these two is said to be level 1. This is your level 2. This is your level 3. And this is your level 4. Got it? The similar exercise also I want you people to do for this expression. Students, similar exercise. So, three problems, three homeworks tomorrow. These two expressions, you need to first draw the binary decision tree and convert into BDD. And for this, F, F is equal to A plus B into C. For this, you need to do this exercise. This part alone. As of now, I have just expanded the expression. Based on this, maybe tomorrow's class, I'll tell you how to draw the Binary decision tree, BDD or RBDD or ROBDD, anything, all are same. 
So I will next class I'll tell you how to draw the diagram. And uh, uh, already I think I have shared the PPTs uh, for the midterm. Ma'am, once can you tell syllabus ma'am clearly? Syllabus logic and false and later. Like from Q1 it is. Ah, uh, Q1 I told only false. Okay. After Q1 you had um, single web, single uh, structured false, structured zero. Equivalence, dominance, all those things I didn't give now. For midterm, no. Uh, can we have that one also? No, no need. What no, no need? need? No need. I'm just thinking after Ganesh asked this question, I'm just thinking. Can we have that also or? No need, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, no, no need, ma'am. I think already I've shared in the slides yesterday. I've uploaded it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can ma even look into it? Yes, yeah, logic, and, logic and fall simulator completely from the flow chart. Whatever topics are there in the slides, completely everything is there. Any doubt, students, in the syllabus? And we will have a mock on day after tomorrow, Thursday. Thursday afternoon, sometime. You need to tell me sometime. The Thursday till what time you all have class till 12.35? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, can we have the mock uh, around 1 o'clock? Anybody else have announced a mock on Thursday? No, ma'am. Well, at, at least one mark you have done already? No, ma'am. Tomorrow we are planning. Tomorrow we are having. Oh, okay, fine. So, coming Thursday, 1 o'clock, we will have a mock test for Principles of VLSC testing. Is it clear, students? Yes, ma'am. I want the Samita ready to open up and respond. Mauli, next class, compulsorily, I want Samita ready to open up. Vamchala, Vamsi Krishna, Mauli, Sai Praveen. Another money, Satya Suresh Bharat is responding. Akash Raj also never ever he had opened up. Ma'am, I right huh? You have answered Akash. Yes, ma'am. Two times. Durka, uh, Durka Kar is not there today. He is not. Jitendra also. Iswar Rao Ra only messaged me, no? Ma'am, I am there, ma'am. You are there. But whenever I call, you are not responding, no? Hi, Mahit, are you there? Today I yes, call. Yes, I'm getting that feeling here. Whenever I call this Iswar Rao, Jitender also now. Jitender. Ma'am. Are you there, Jitender? Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Please respond, Pa. Where this possible Navin Kumar on hold? In which other call he is there? I don't know. Pritam, Pranit, Nagasai Kumar. Others are all responding. Um, uh, yes, C-section students, whenever I call, they are responding. There is no issues at all with them. I, they, I hope I am considering they are listening to the class and whenever they call, I am really telling there is no issue with them. Everybody is immediately responding. And Sindhu Teja, are you there? Geeteswar? Nikileswar? Yes, ma'am. Nikileswar? Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Nikhileswar, are you listening to the class? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So tomorrow I will first check your notebook only for the answers for the homework problems. Okay. okay Be ready with answers. You have to switch on the camera and you have to show your answer. Yes, tomorrow I wanted to check the answers mainly. No, today itself I'll tell. Samita ready. Have to show. Um, Satish ready. Have to show. Vamsi Krishna have to show me. Okay, ma'am. Manaswini, G. Manaswini have to show me. Durkakar is not in the class. Inform him. I wanted to check his notebook also. Nikita, A6 and Nikita also need to show. Brahati. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you need to show the notebook. Yes, ma'am. Sindhu also. Sindhu. And the Virendra Sai left the class, inform him, ask him, uh, C6 and students, anyone please inform him, he need to show the notebook. 
prashant also from c section all these students have to show me the notebook tomorrow compulsorily with all these answers okay and thank you for today class thank you ma'am